Let me tell you about the time the Burger King almost died. So apparently in the early 2010s, Burger King had gotten rid of the king. And they were running into a problem. They were advertising their nuggets. But people thought they were McDonald's ads. So Burger King immediately knew they needed their mascot back. They said, well, we could run a Super Bowl ad, but that's going to cost three, four, or five million bucks just for that slot. And then they started really thinking, hey, what are these other big cultural moments where all of America is going to be watching TV? And it turns out it was going to be the Mayweather-Pacquiao fight. So they knew that when the boxers make an entrance, all eyes, including television cameras, are on them. So Burger King calls up the orchestrator of these boxing events and says, when Floyd Mayweather walks out, we want the Burger King walking out with him too. They're like, this is preposterous. That's never been done before, but we'll do it for a million bucks. Burger King said say less and brought the cash. On the night of the fight, the Burger King and Floyd Mayweather are back in Floyd Mayweather's locker room. But what they did not account for is that Floyd Mayweather keeps his locker room at 110 degrees. The Burger King was in his suit, sweating his nuggets off, thinking that he's going to pass out. I'm like a twisted teaser. It's so hot here. Ultimately, the stunt was a massive success. It was a third of the cost of a Super Bowl ad and got just as much exposure. Immediately after their sales skyrocketed and the King was crowned again.